Now, battle station number one. I have laid everything out in order of application. Foundation, to the left. You work your way to the right. Any questions? Yes. What? Is this yours? Well, it certainly was. I see. The mutt found it and used it as a chew toy. I'm so sorry. That's all right. I shall have a little chat with Penny later. <laughs> but not now or we'll fall behind schedule. Now, makeup. I have allowed 20 minutes, all right? Yes. Hair. I have allowed 15 minutes. I may need more than 15 minutes. Marty, your hair is so beautiful. Anything more than 15 minutes would be just gilding a lily, all right? Okay. Then we move on to battle station number three. Putting on the dress. Now, I've allowed a half an hour for that, just in case we need some last minute, you know, panic. Panic attacks, yes. That's exactly what Why are you staring at me? I definitely chose the right person to be my best woman. Well, of course you did. <laughs> Besides, after everything we've been through, if I wasn't here for the payoff, I'd be really bummed. Mm, I know. I, I, sometimes I feel like I don't deserve this. <laughs> a time like this, I get really scared. Oh, Marty. You deserve this. Gosh, when I met you, you were a mess. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. You, you were unhappy and you were self-destructive, and look what you've done with your life. You've turned it completely around. You've gotten control over your, your lupus. And, and you've learned discipline to get all the way through medical school. You're a healer. You're a doctor now. You have a gift to share with the world. All of your friends were all so proud of you. And we're thrilled to be here at the final little steps of the journey. Hmm. Um, maybe it's more like coming around a curve and there's a whole new road in front of me. Having children, mm -hmm. making a family, mm -hmm. reconciling with Patrick's mother and father. I mean, things I've dreamed about for so long. All the rest of the fairy. Which Cinderella? We gotta get you to the ball and we're not going to if we keep your line now. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Makeup. Twenty minutes. I need some too. All right, foundation. Start with that. Bo, do you know how to deal with these bloody things? You nervous? Uh no, I'm not nervous. I just wish I'd bought a shirt with buttons instead of these bloody cufflink things. Patrick, Patrick. You gotta relax. This is the easy part. You gotta pace yourself because it's gonna get a whole lot worse. Thanks for the reassurance. That's why I'm here. I am your best man. It's my job to stand up there for you. I'm the guy who yells, Look out! Just before you take that big plunge right off the old marital cliff. Surely it's not all that bad, is it? Just picture this. You're up there on top of Lantano Mountain. God. All your friends are watching you. Wedding march is just about to start. But your throat is dry. <laughs> parched. Your stomach's churning, you know, the sweat of your brow. It's running all the way down your back. You're rustling. You look up, but it's only Nora. My little Nora. The maid of honor coming down the aisle. I'm, I'm sorry, is it, is it still called an aisle if... If we're in the woods and, you know, uh, there's a clearing and we... Okay, please, I, please, please, please. I, don't, don't interrupt me. I'm kind of on a roll. Okay. So Nora gets just about even with us, and your heart starts thumping now like a jackhammer, and you're having a hard time breathing. And then you look up, and it's Marty coming down the aisle, floating on Larry Wolick's arm. And it's the first time you've seen her in her wedding gown. And she looks up and she sees you. She smiles. Her whole face just lights up. And that's when you get it. You know that nothing else matters. Nothing else in this entire world matters except that woman walking down that aisle to become your bride. And then you know everything is going to be all right. True enough. 
He won't be returning this now, will he? Neither will his new wife. You seem a bit harsh, don't I? Shoot them on the wedding day. I'm the one who'll be finding it a bit harsh, O'Hara. If Paddy fingered me to the cops for the whiting bombing, and since he mentioned my name to his new bride, she has to go as well. 